this will be the invention of the century. This has to be taught in all the scientific labs. What would the world be without me? If only my arm were not broken, I would do all the tests needed now with no problem at all. Good morning, Grandpa. Good morning, Sara. How are you? I'm very well, Grandpa. Come here. You are right on time. Come, I need your help. Ooh, what are you inventing this time, Grandpa? This is one great invention of mine. When will it be done, Grandpa? I want to test it. A few more steps and the machine will be ready. I just need you to press this button. If a red light turns on, that means there is still more work to be done. But if it is green, then the machine is ready to go. You are going to be the first one to try it out. I'm a bit scared. The machine may explode. Come on, don't worry. If it is not ready, a red light and a siren will go off and warn us. You will just press the button. Why are you scared? Since the last machine's explosion and I've been worried of what might happen. Explosion? What explosion, Sarah? We have never had an explosion here. Explosion, Grandpa, the chocolate machine which you invented for my birthday and which exploded while me and my friends were testing it. No, 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 this is totally different. Trust me, all you have to do is to press this button. Okay, we'll see. What's this noise, Grandpa? Come, is the come. machine going to explode? Don't be afraid, it's just alerting me that there's something wrong. Come, come, I will turn it off. Don't you have some faith? Come! This means something needs to be fixed and I have got to find out what. Where is the problem? Where is the problem? I think here. Maybe not. I think here. No. No. That is the problem. See? This screw is not in the right place. It needs to be unscrewed and put in its place. Okay. You unscrew it and I will see where it's supposed to sure. go. <laughs> it's very tight, Grandpa. I can't unscrew it. Aha. Uh -huh. You cannot unscrew it because you are trying to do it with your hand. But if you use an Allen key, it will be much easier. <laughs> <laughs> Alan what? It is called an Allen key. It is a kind of lever that saves energy big time. How does it save energy? Look, let us play a game. We will call this screw the resistance because it resists the key and does not want to be overcome by it. We will call this part of the Allen key the rigid bar. It is the lever which allows you to control the force you are using to unscrew it. So, what will we call the hole where the screw is fixed? We will call that uh, the fulcrum. Fulcrum? I don't understand, Grandpa. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me get my toolbox and I'll show you. Mm, my toolbox. Here it is. Let me help you. Let me help you. I've got it. I've got it. Thank you, Sarah. Welcome. All right. Now... Take this key and try to unscrew the screw. Here you go. Sure. It's so tight, Grandpa, I can't. Let me find another key. Maybe it would help you. Try this one, this key. This might make it easier for you. Whoa, Grandpa, it's much easier to unscrew it now, although I didn't press any harder than before. Let me ask you, Sarah, what's the difference between the second time and the third time? Mm, the second time the rigid bar was shorter, but the third time the rigid bar was longer? Good job! Then, the longer the rigid bar is, the more it is able to overcome the resistance, which is the screw and with the least energy. That way, we saved energy. Ooh, so the longer the rigid bar, the more powerful it is? Exactly. Good job. You know what? You deserve a reward for helping me out. Reward? What reward? There are some hazelnuts that I was saving until I visit the dentist, but you deserve them. Wait right here. 
till I find it. Can you please help me and put everything away? Here are the hazelnuts. Try one. You deserve it. Okay, Grandpa. I can't break it with my hand. No, Grandpa, it's going to hurt my teeth. What should I do? How do you think we can break it? I get it. You mean we should think about something like the screw? Exactly. Wait, I used to have a nutcracker here. You have everything, don't you, Grandpa? Yes, everything is here. You just tell me what you need and I will find it. I found it. Here is the nutcracker. Should I take a hazelnut? Take one. Put it in the middle. Where is the rigid bar? Rigid bar. Here it is. Right. And where is the resistance? Mm, the resistance. Well, this time we don't have a screw. The resistance is the hazelnut. Good job, Sarah. And where is the fulcrum? Fulcrum. Fulcrum. Yes, here it is. Exactly. Now go ahead and press. Here, Grandpa, it's broken and with the least amount of energy. This is another type of lever. Is there another type of lever? There is a third type which we will use now. Can you get me the broom from over there, please? Okay. There you go. Is this a third type of lever? Yes. So, instead of picking up the shells off the floor with your hand, one by one, you can use this broom which makes your work more efficient. This broom is the third type of lever. It is true that it doesn't save us energy, but it does help us to work more accurately. Uh-huh, I got it. Great. That's great. I'm done. Do you need my help in anything else? Go put the broom back and let's continue working on my invention. As I told you, history will remember this moment. Today we learned about the types of levers that save energy. First class, conserving energy depends on the position of the fulcrum. If the fulcrum is exactly in the middle of the force and the resistance, then this lever does not conserve energy. If the fulcrum is closer to the force than the resistance, it means that the rigid bar is shorter than the resistance and this lever does not conserve energy. If the fulcrum is closer to the resistance than the force, this means that the arm of force is longer than the resistance. Then this lever conserves energy. An example is the Allen key. Second class, it conserves energy because the arm of force is always longer than the arm of resistance. An example is the nutcracker. Third class, it does not conserve energy because the arm of resistance is always longer than the arm of force. However, third class levers are still useful as tools. An example, the broom. Excellent! Where are you going? Where are you going, Sarah?